Thank you, Grant. The time now is 6.02. Let's take a look at our top headlines this morning. President Donald Trump is heading to El Paso tonight for his first campaign rally of the new year. The president highlighted the city as justification for building a border wall. KRBC's West Rappaport has the latest from the border ahead of Mr. Trump's visit. Hi there, good morning from the U.S.-Mexico border here in El Paso. The president's visit comes as the threat of another government shutdown looms at the end of the week and amid what some Texas lawmakers say is misrepresentation of this community. Simply put, walls work and walls save lives. President Donald Trump has set his sights on Texas just days after delivering his State of the Union address where he called for funding for his border barriers. El Paso, Texas used to have extremely high rates of violent crime. With a powerful barrier in place, El Paso is one of the safest cities in our country. I wish that the president would use facts versus uh, political red meat um, to talk about our community. State Rep Cesar Blanco represents the area of El Paso the president is visiting. My home is literally yards away from the border wall. Um, and say that uh, we need it because places like El Paso uh, are unsafe um, and, and have had the highest uh, amount of crime is completely false. Blanco says he hopes the president meets with some of his constituents in the Texas border city in addition to the planned rally at the El Paso County Coliseum. Well, I've been saying for months if people want to talk about immigration they need to talk they need to come to El Paso. El Paso's mayor questions the president's statements about safety in his community. We need to control our borders and that fence is a part of that whole process but it's not the panacea or the end game solution. It's a national debate but Texas is spending two eight hundred million dollars last session to border security. Governor Greg Abbott wants a similar investment this year, a move most Democrats despise and most Republicans support. We're going to do that again this session. We wish we didn't have to, but until the federal government is able to do its job, we're going to keep doing it. Well, I'm pleased he's coming. I'm hoping I'll get a chance to visit with him. State leaders, including Governor Greg Abbott, Senator Ted Cruz, and Agriculture Commissioner Sid Miller will be joining the president during his visit. Reporting in El Paso, I'm Wes Rappaport. Back to you. The rally starts tonight at 7 p.m. local time in El Paso. Stay with us. We'll have more coverage ahead of yet as well.